Marie. And I'm Erin. We're librarians at Oceanside Public Library. This year, we are working together with our friends at the Oceanside Museum of Art to bring the literacy through art program straight to your classroom. This dynamic program combines the joy of reading with the beauty of art, two of my favorite things. Do you think you could read a work of art the same way you read a book? Let's find out. What in the world? What's wrong? The characters are missing. It also looks like the whole story has disappeared. What are we going to do? Hi, third graders. I'm Adam. And I'm Wendy. Here at Oceanside Museum of Art, every artwork tells a story. You just need to really look. That's weird. That's our super duper only for emergencies telephone. Who could it be? Hello? Oh, hi, Marie. It's Marie from Oceanside Public Library. Wait, what? No, uh, let me get this straight. The main characters are missing from their books? Well, what do the characters look like? A boy with a yellow shirt. Adam, I know a character who matches that description perfectly. Follow me. We found him. Mm-hmm, okay. Okay, great, Marie. Bye. What did she say? Oh, she just wants us to write the character back into the story. Wait, write a story? How are we gonna do that? That means we need to think of a plot, theme, setting, adjectives? Adam, Adam, take a deep breath. We just need to look at the painting. This painting can actually help us write the story. Who is this character? What's he all about? What's the first thing you see or notice? His deep green eyes. They really draw me in, even though he's looking away from me. I wonder what's getting his attention. I also see his thick black hair. It matches the black trim on his shirt. You know, I noticed his eyes too, and the black trim on his shirt really brings attention to the color yellow. Why did the artist use that shade of yellow? It reminds me of a yellow stoplight. It reminds me of extra cheddar goldfish crackers. I love those. Or maybe the school bus I took to elementary school. Wow, Adam, look at all the adjectives. The next big question is, how does our character feel? He seems sad. He also appears a little nervous or afraid. I think he might be waiting for something or someone in that really uncomfortable chair. Adam, that's it. He's in a mossy green room, waiting to hear news of his dog or, or cat. I think we've got the story. Wait, what? Just go with it, Adam. <sighs> Once there was a boy who wore a school bus yellow shirt. He usually liked to play, but today he sits uncomfortably. His green eyes look away from us and they appear sad and worried. He's in a, a waiting room. In an, in an animal hospital. He waits in the room with the mossy green walls to hear about the condition of his sick cat, Mr. Perfect. Soon he will find out from the veterinarian that everything went well. He gets up from the chair and gives his precious Mr. Perfect a hug. Mr. Perfect, kind of a cute name. Okay, let's send our character back to his book. Thanks for helping us, Adam and Wendy. Can you help us with another story? It's about a sandhill crane family on their migration south. 